Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Snow Dancer, the Performance Director, and the Group Formation HUD this time. So I went ahead and loaded up in my Smooth Dancer and my Performance Director my dances. If you look in the contents, I've already put my dances. I also like to put a start and stop animation, um, a pose. So I got those in here. I named it my act, Dia de los Muertos. Um, both of these before the performance director and before the smooth dancer. I also named my note card what my act is going to be called. I all I already put on the group formation HUD. I'm going to go ahead and take both of these HUDs here and put them on my screen. I'm going to add these. All right, that's added. Notice they're overlapping, so if you right-click and edit them, you can drag them kind of apart a little bit so they're not overlapping on your screen and get them stacked up how you like. I like to have them stacked up on the right-hand side of my screen like that. And then the next thing I have to do, my set's already built. Um, I need to put out my group formation designer. I do have these pose balls here. These are for the guys who are just going to be doing a static animation on their guitar so they don't need to be on the uh, spot on hood. So I'm going to go into my inventory and I'm going to find a group formation marker. Group formation. Um, I have a lot of things in here. Uh, let me scroll down to the bottom. Group formation. So I'm going to find a group formation controller. That's what I want. I'm going to edit on my set. I'm going to res out my controller, kind of place it center to the set. Um, do a 180. My center of my set is at 126, uh, but that doesn't look centered to me. So I'm going to move it over here a little bit. Maybe it's actually, I think it's 128, excuse me. I'm going to move this backstage so it's not going to be seen by the people out front. And then um, I'm going to go into this configuration here and I'm going to change the configuration file uh, to make it res out about eight um, meters ahead of this marker. So it will res out well enough in front of this. It'll come out to about midway about here when I res these. And I can go ahead and res my movers here. I want three movers for this act. And you'll see when they come out, there'll be discs on the ground. In just a second. And I have them on the ground. So then I'm going to sit on one. And I'm um, going to make sure that I'm appropriately paged up so my feet are not in the ground. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is I usually decide... Um, you know what my starting position is going to be. So when I click on um, the group formation, when I'm in recording mode, it will go to that. So I really like, actually, I want this to be a straight line. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then when I click record, the first thing I'm going to do is click that straight line. I also maybe want to space these out a little bit. So if you want to space them out so they're not so close together, you can click the large foot or the um, next to large foot. And that spaces them out a little bit. Another thing that you want to pay attention to is um, the numbers here. So the higher the number, the slower the transition is going to be. I like it to be about a seven or a six. So it's not like super fast, but it's not super slow either. Um, and then here's all the different formations you can do. This is the record button. Um, this is the download button. This is to load the card once you've got it saved into there. So we're going to click record. Um, it will tell you in local chat that this is recording. Start a recording. I'm going to go to my smooth dancer and start recording as well. Um, I already have my song loaded up in YouTube. It's playing right here. Uh, it's got an ad. I'm going to skip. And as soon as it starts playing, I want to start um, actually clicking on the animation. So I'm going to just hold off on that for a second and come back here. So I had clicked recording on the smooth dancer, but I actually need to go where my, um, my animations are under all and get ready to click that right away. 
So I'm going to come back to YouTube, play it, minimize it super fast, click on my first animation, and then click on straight line. So when the curtain opens, we're in position for the first movement. And then I'm going to start moving my avatar when the music starts. Go through your animations as you like and start recording them. I know you guys can't hear the music in the background, but I can. So I can move these forward a little bit. I know it looks like the up button would be back, but it's actually forward. <laughs> it's reversed. So we look like we're moving forward a little bit on the screen. And my curtain's in the way. So I'm going to keep moving all the way through the act. And maybe I want to transition to a different uh, pattern here. I can just click the button. I know you see me through the curtain right now. For some reason, I didn't open the curtain before I began this. There you go. It's a little bit better so you can see me. All right. So now I'm going to go to another And then when you're done, you're going to click the last animation. And when the music's complete, you're going to click the stop recording button here. I'm going to download this text here. I'm also going to down, uh, stop recording here on the group formation and download here. Now, we've got to do some other things to this. Let me stop my music here because it's annoying. All right, so I'm going to first take the text that I have for the Smooth Dancer and I'm going to go to my performance director. I'm going to open my note card. And again, we have to do some cleanup here. So I'm gonna delete everything. I'm not gonna call this at group girls, one comma two comma three. That's all three girls um, at group reset at ankle lock, at pre-cache. So these three lines I put on every single performance director note card that allows me to reset the um, animations, reset the um, HUD, reset the markers at the end of the act. Uh, it also allows me to open and close the curtain. The ankle lock makes it so that our ankles don't go uh, like all over the place and break when we're dancing. The pre-cache allows me to pre-cache the dances when I click on the button on my head over here. Down here, I'm gonna type in girls equals, and then paste my text there. And I'm, I'm pretty okay with this. I don't think it needs any tweaks. Um, and then I'm going to copy from my auto note card. And if you need the auto note card, just let me know and I'll be glad to pass it to you. I have some examples in there if you need them. Um, auto function. And then I'm going to come down here and copy my reset information. So I'll explain the reset information here in a second. So this starts the animations right here at zero. 
it starts to add the markers and the animations. It opens the curtain at 234 or at the end of your act. This is going to actually be at one, 155 because it's five. Uh, I do three seconds after the act ends. Actually, I'm going to do this a little bit longer because the music lasted a little bit longer. So I'm going to call this 160. And um, three seconds after that, I reset everything. So everything goes back towards the beginning. Okay. All right. Okay. Get that all set. And then um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, reset our markers here, our movers. So we move back. Um, I'm going to click on this to load this. It will give an error saying you don't have a note card loaded possibly uh, when you play it. But first we're going to copy this um, movement information into a brand new note card in your inventory. So I'm going to collapse this. I'm going to go to recent. I'm going to create a new note card. I'm going to call this zero dia muertos. And I put a zero in front of it because otherwise it does it like weird um, when you go to load it. So if you put a zero in front of it, it it saves it much better. Don't ask me why, it just does. So I, I get that in there and then I'm going to edit my group formation HUD. And you'll see in here I have some zeros, one, two, threes, but I had some when I first started that didn't have those in front of it and I had problems loading those in the correct order. So if I put the zero in front of there, they load in the correct alphabetical order. So it's in there, make sure it's in there. And that's right there, Dia Muertos. Um, I'm gonna close all this and then I'm gonna pre-cache, make sure that we're all dancing and then I'm going to cam out and check my animations. So I'm going to play my music here and go back. As soon as my ad is over, that's the one thing about YouTube I hate is all the ads. That's why I like to download music if I can. Click skip ad, play it, then click play on my HUD here. Oh, I forgot to load it. So, eh. Let me go back and stop my music. See, it gave you an error. You have to load it. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to go to my uh, group formation and click the check mark. That will load it. So I need to find zero uh, Dia Muertos. Let's see. There it is. Now it's loaded. So when I go to play it now, it will automatically play with the formation. So let me go back and start my music. Rewind, click play, minimize this, and click play here. And now everything should start appropriately. See the markers, markers will start to move automatically. It put us into the straight line formation. And then as we start to move, it will automatically play into the other formations that we programmed into it. See, we're starting to move forward. It's automatically playing. That's awesome. You don't have to touch anything. Just click play when you're ready to go after you load the note card, of course, and uh, pre-cache the dances. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for this uh, video. I hope you all enjoy. Make sure you check it all the way through. Tweak it if you need to and have fun.